Welcome to Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering. In this educational program, you'll be able to work with design, construction, control, automation, production development, and if any of these words sound foreign to you, you might follow and we will tell you all about it. What you'll end up working with as a mechanical and manufacturing engineer depends solely on your interests. We work, for instance, with existing systems where we analyze the product and try to come up with a better, more efficient solution. One example could be this circulation pump from Groundfuss, where we have disassembled it and analyzed the components. Yep. After analyzing the components, we take a look at the materials used in production and see if we can come up with a better design, which can either make the pump more efficient or cheaper in production. This is done by first modeling a product component and then manufacturing to see if it actually fits in the pump. We also work in large scale. For instance, we'll build a boat crane such as this, so it can be able to lift what it should. We start out by looking at different parts to make it work. Then we calculate if the materials are able to withstand the pressure and learn how to combine different materials. At last, we model the crane in 3D and test if our calculations work in practice. We also learn about controls and regulations of systems. For instance, if you want this robot to draw a picture, the robot needs to be controlled properly so that the movement is smooth. Furthermore, it's important to be able to control the robot and decide what it should do. But all of this requires a lot of calculations, modeling and data collection. When we're not working on our projects, we can also meet up with the others from the education and build on our Unicorn race car. Here it's also important to put together different aspects of engineering to make the car work. But it's also about the social part of it. This car, for instance, was in Sweden this past summer to race. To be able to make these projects, we have lectures. We have mathematics and physics to learn how to calculate on different things. We have material science where we learn to use the correct materials for constructions. We've got electronics, control and regulation where we control electronic systems. And we've got processing engineering where we learn about production and how to manage resources in a company. All of these things would be hard to do on, in time alone. So we're working in groups where we contribute with knowledge to each other. Because we work in groups, we learn how to plan the work and delegate the workload as we would in a real company. Once we're done with our education here, there's a great opportunity to get a good job. Actually, we'll be able to work any place where motor being used or manufacturing is needed. These are some of the things that we're working on in mechanical and manufacturing engineering. And if you think it sounds exciting, you can always read more on our homepage, S-E-S-A-A-U-D-K.